boys, boys, boys. Yokes will be happy to know that I'm going to do two videos today. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, right, the pilots. Yeah, okay, look, this still looks like a bit of like a pregnant fairy because I mask like my ass. You know, remember I told you. But then I touch up and I make pretty. And then it will get weathered, um, you know, and stuff like that. So this is what you've got before you start fiddling with it. But you have to make it look like uh, this. All right. And out of that whole lot, the most difficult part, the part that really irritates me, is to bend the coupler lift bar. It's a heartbreaking job. It's this. It looks simple. You bend this out of a piece of copper wire now. 1.2 mil. And it looks simple. But you've got to make so sure that your angles are all right and that everything is where it's supposed to be and the same length by the sides. It's, it's, it's a nightmare. And then there's a slight little detail thing that I want to show you. You see these? See those? Those gets imported from USA trains. Something like 330 rand for eight of those and two lift bars. It's ridiculous. And the lift bar chuck away. So, yes. Well, I use it for something else. Now, that's the difference between a shitty model and a good model. Because those little um, holders holds the lift bar to the pilot. Then, this is another $8 or something. This. Um... And I cut them in a million pieces. Then you go and you buy yourself some of this from RS Performance. You see, this is silicon hose. So you don't have to stick it onto that. You glue it. I don't have to glue it. You uh, stick it on. It's, it, it bites. It slides over. It's silicon. So it just sits there forever and ever. And then if you're lucky, look, I haven't done the vacuum pops. I'm going to do the vac vacuum pops are busy drying in this weather. It takes an hour. So that's busy drying. The vacuum pipes will still come onto the one that I've done now. But you end up with that sort of thing. All right. Wait, I'm not going to turn it sideways then. You see. So there's your lift holders. Check the hexagon bolts on them. Pretty, eh? And there's your pipes. Uh, you just touch it up with a little bit of chrome paint just to simulate the... the um, uh, what they call it, the clamps, no? The hydraulic clamps. And there you have it. Boomy boom. Now, once this is done, and the vacuum hoses are on, they sit off center, um, I will touch up my shitty masking with a little bit of yellow paint and make it sort of prettier, and then wash it again and put a dull coat on it, and then they look quite spectacular. Um, yes, because these things are always in the way. They always get buggered up first, eh? Hmm. Right, so now you know how to make a pilot. For future reference, that's what your pilot should look like. You can do it better than I can, because I'm a, like I said before, I've got 11 thumbs when it comes to masking stuff. All right, so it's from there to there. Pretty nifty, eh? Right, so these are going on tomorrow. Once they're stuck down, then I can do the couplers and put the couplers in. Good, boys. Thank you that you have a it. Um, Oh, yes, and thanks for the subscribers. I think I got like four or five today. Lucker, man. Lucker. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, and then we speak later. Good. Bye-bye.